the most important thing, first of all, is the is the engineering specification that we put out to all the teams. It's on the the web. Uh, that's the document that we use to measure how the teams have been successful or not. Yes, it's, so it's the, very important to read and understand that to start with. Yes, the, a lot of the dimensions that we've used on the specification are, are things that we use on ev our everyday vehicles. Some of the things are legislative uh, requirements to meet uh, the um, what we call a, a four by four vehicle, um, four wheel drive vehicle. Um, but we do go ex go beyond that so that we have um, approach angles and departure angles that are greatly exceeded than what the legislation requires. In terms of what we're looking for with the actual vehicles themselves, when we actually look at the vehicle, we'll look at its, its presentation, how it looks, we'll look at the, the chassis, the suspension, the wheels, the tyres. Um, we've obviously got a number of gauges that we will measure the ground clearance on, and the ramp over angle, the brake over angle, the approach and departure angles. Um, but then we'll also look at how the vehicle has been constructed and, and we'll ask um, some of the, the team members some questions about how they've done particular things, why they've made certain decisions. Mm. As part of our scrutineering we'll ask the teams a number of questions that they might think are quite difficult and we're trying to catch them out as Eric says but what we're actually trying to do is get them to think about how they've done things, the decisions that they've made and how they could perhaps do, do things differently or, or slightly better that might try and improve their car and, and their, their thought processes for the future. It's nice to hear that they, they've actually been through a process and thought about why they've chosen you know, a certain design. And that, that's more important really in a way than, than the actual design itself. You know, that they've actually yes, been through yes. a process, they've failed yes. or they've had problems and they've tried a different method. And that, that comes across and you know, we, we do give points for that sort of thing. They've actually gone through a proper process and the thought process to yes. actually come to that. And then the, the fun part of the day, it, whether it's the heats or the finals, is the actual track itself. Um, we, we try and design a, a track which has enough challenge that, uh, that is achievable so that the, the competitors can actually get their vehicle round, but also make it sufficiently challenging that it's not a breeze and it's, it's quite difficult to get round. Uh, we try and improve the track uh, every year, make things slightly different. Um, we've got some good ideas on how we're going to do that in the future. We don't want them to fail, obviously. Uh, if, the, if the car gets around the track completely without any problems, then the group has done very well indeed. I think certain elements are easier than others on the track. Uh, and I think that's, that's perhaps deliberate as well. Because um, we have some that, that test different attributes of the vehicle as well. So some of them, like for example going over the hub, We'll test a bit of ground clearance and a bit of steering, whereas going up the hill is testing traction and torque, um, and then going over the articulation is suspension, movement and control. So there are different elements which are testing different attributes of the vehicle, and collectively they all make, hopefully, uh, something that is, is quite challenging but is, is achievable as well. I, I like the challenge aspect of it. I like to make something innovative and just to, to like designing something new. I just like that kind of stuff. Okay. We live in a very rural area, and uh, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of students who are interested in uh, in uh, driving off road. They have tractors, they have quads, they have Land Rovers. Uh, they have a lot of Land Rovers, and uh, uh, we do a lot of engineering in our in our department at school. And uh, it just seemed that. You know, when we looked at it, it was an exciting thing to do, and the uh, and the pupils were really enthused by it. And we had uh, we had no problem getting volunteers. Um, we felt that this would be a great opportunity to show the skills that we've learned in college over the past year. We we're all very keen and enthusiastic about the whole process of getting a project together, being part of a team, and we had a really good time. Of week. It's been really yeah. good fun. Definitely working in the team helps a lot. Working as a team? Yeah, uh, getting different people to tackle different aspects of the design, making. Organisation and, and planning and, and just basically getting everything done on, on, on time and in a logical order. And you find that after a little while you tend to, you know, you, you have a task and you think, ah, yeah, such and such can do this, such and such can do that. And that works a lot quicker, especially. 
you know, when you've realised who, who's better at what, things come together so much more, more quickly because um, you know who to assign a job to. You're not experimenting on who's better and you get better quality workmanship. So. By working out who is better at what, um, for instance, um, basically he's very good at drawing and so obviously a natural thing for him was to be the uh, design engineer. As you can see, these a lot of his, his drawings and things. And um, I was technical director because um, that's my strength, is coming up with the ideas in the first place, finding a solution to a problem. It's problem solving that I'm best at. And um, we have our two production engineers because they have the practical skills to put what we've designed and thought about uh, into what you see here. It's the whole problem that you have to solve and the way you're going about it, the different solutions that you can come up with. Um, it's really quite interesting that you can have so many different solutions to a single problem and a lot of them won't work and yet it's only through trial and error that you find the best solution. I just really enjoyed working together as a team and uh, see we're, we're a sibling team, half of it, and uh, who normally don't get on and seeing us all work together and uh, come together as a group, it, it feels good. It's been such an adventure to get from where we started in February to here and even the past two days leaving Northern Ireland and then being transported to the hotel and then being picked up today in a brand new Land Rover which had less than a thousand miles on it. <laughs> yeah, the whole, the whole experience and then coming here today and everybody with their Land Rover t-shirts on. And, yeah. Seeing the car actually do the obstacles, when you first looked at it you thought it'll never do it. When you got there and it actually did, it performed much better than you expected. Yeah, it's just unreal to see the car actually driving up like steep slopes. You think, oh, it's never going to make it. You just see it climbing and climbing and climbing. It's really good feeling. Talking and working with Land Rover engineers and hearing what they had to say about our work. Obviously, uh, taking into consider consideration every aspect of it, but everything that Land Rover provides you with just to help you in making your model and then your final piece. Because it helps a lot knowing the specifications and what you can get through start early. Um, what we did, uh, which we were, we were very happy with, is we, very early on we made a prototype and we tested that prototype and we knew that that was the, the way we were going to go with it and, uh, and that, was, that, was, um, that was a good idea. Uh, get making as soon as you can uh, but also um, do your design work at, uh, at the same time as do your making and make sure you pay attention to the uh, to the administration and the and the um, and the written work, the, the portfolio work in the, in, the, in the design challenge. Start making it early, get it done. Don't leave it to the last minute because if you, get, you start getting rushed at the end, you start making silly mistakes and have to redo it. And that. I would definitely ensure that the car was built well before the week before the condition. Give you more testing time and ensure you have people are good pressure. And not just manufacturing. To follow the spec as closely as possible. They give you the marks there so all you have to do is get them. This is our first year. We we we're using this as a, a very much a learning year. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna enter now from uh, every year uh, from now on. Uh, for as long as we can, really, um, it uh, it uh, it enthuses people in the school towards engineering. It sets the sets the standard, uh, and it's and it's a good sort of flagship uh, project for us to 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 go with. So we, yeah, we're going to be doing it from now. On. Ooh, um, I think uh, just to to see the level of uh, engineering that they've been doing. You know, it's, uh, they've, they've been doing some really complex engineering and they've worked really hard at it. The, the determination and application they've shown has been, uh, has been uh, impressive and surprising and, uh, and, and, you know, we're really pleased with it. The team came together uh, and the enthusiasm they showed um, for the project, but not only the enthusiasm, when they came across a problem, 
we were able to think away logically around that specific problem. The benefits, uh, the, the benefits are, are um, working as a team, working under pressure, um, uh, problem solving. They've had some really complex problems that they have had to solve. Um, but they've actually seen what it's like to be to be an engineer, you know, to do, to run an engineering project and to uh, to, to have uh, to have successes and to also have uh, setbacks uh, and how to overcome them. So um, they've they've had lots of uh, lots of benefits from this.